Welcome riding buddies. Over the last few weeks I've been covering a lot of events and I haven't been doing any bike videos. And I have actually been asked quite often where am I up to with my trusty old 74 CR125 Elsinore. So I'm just going to do a little bit of an update for this video as to where I'm up to. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, go back through my library, check out some of my other videos and we'll have a look at my 1974 Honda CR125. The original Husky inlet manifold which I had on this gem rig valve was all cracked so I had to do something about that and what I did I found that a Suzuki T500 inlet manifold was very close. A few modifications got it to fit so that's rectified the cracked inlet manifold problem. In my last video on this bike I showed you what had happened to the air filter over many years of sitting around. It completely disintegrated. So a new k &N air filter rectified that. Onto the front end, the front forks were leaking oil badly, really badly. So a new set of fork seals and some fresh 10 weight fork oil fixed the front forks. And of course, all the fork oil had gone into the front brake shoes. So a new set of brake shoes and a good clean up with brake cleaner to clean the drum out and that's all good once again. Down to the back of the bike, the works performance shocks that I originally fitted this bike back in the 90s were leaking oil very badly. These were bought off Paul Chippendale back in the day. He is now Mako at Chippies. He had some seals still in stock, so make sure you check out Mako at Chippies, especially if you're one of those Mako fans. Also too, the work was carried out by Dennis at DNA Motorcycles and thank you to Dennis for helping out with rebuilding the rear shocks. Getting the little rocket to fire up was not really that hard. Quick clean out of the carburetor, flush the tank out, make sure there's no debris in there and some fresh fuel, a few kicks and away she went. So let's check out how it all went. with my 1974 Honda CR125 Elsnor. As you've seen, the bike is not a show bike. This bike, I am trying to bring it back as a race bike. It always has been a race bike, but the last 10 years it's been in storage in a shipping container. But there is still more work to do with it. First thing I need to do is, once all this rain goes away, and um, up here at Toowoomba it's a little bit easier to ride in the red clay, uh, I'll be taking it out and make sure that everything does that it should do. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and we'll catch you next time.